Hello everyone, good evening to you. My name is Judy Joby and this is my video for cycle 13. The title of my video today is Quantum Insert and this is for the 840 CSC 840, that's Full Scope Security Testing Cycle 13 for the spring semester of 2016 at Dakota State University. Definition. Quantum Inserts is the processes, process of injecting TCP sessions into a stream sending the victim in the wrong direction. It's largely considered a man-in-the-middle attack because it allows the attacker to get between the victim and their, their, their intended resources or, or message. It is sometimes more appropriately called the man-on-the-side attack because it doesn't necessarily mitigate or intercept the message between the resource and the victim. The, and and the, the the decision on whether it's a MITM attack or MOTS attack largely depends on the mode of attack. If it completely intercepts the message, then it will be a man in the middle attack. But if it just sends its own package along with, or maybe um, in place of the the original uh, resources or the original packets, then it it, it will be a MOTS or man on the side attack common uses. Most uh, commonly, this attack method is used by the NSA and GCHQ. And by the way, the GCHQ is an intelligence agency that works for the government of Great Britain. When it also, It's also used when machines or entire systems are difficult to reach via regular phishing attack methods or other more common methods. So these are used for high-value targets that are difficult to, to reach. Process. Quantum insertion or in, uh, quantum inserts or injection is a QI attack method that takes advantage of a known weakness in TCP and exploits the victim in the following way. First, it hijacks the browser uh, trying to access a particular website. Second, it serves a malicious web page to that browser and third it sends malware to the victims to the victim system uh, through that rogue web page or a malicious web page is served in, in the second step and this normally requires the capability to listen to very high volume of internet traffic who can do qi anyone with the right equipment motivation and intent can do can do qi Another uh, group of people are ISPs. ISPs are positioned in, in the perfect environment and situation to be able to carry out a QI attack. Finally, government agencies with the right authorization and within the ambits of the local or federal law in, in their respective countries are also um, positioned with the right uh, authority and, and circumstances to, to perform a QI attack. Government use. Government uses QI attacks to hack machines of suspected terrorists in the Middle East. They also use it to gather intelligence on behalf of one another when, when different countries cooperate, sharing uh, information and intelligence among each other. It's 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 one. It, it's it's considered one one of the more productive ways that QI uh, uh, can be used. Uh, finally, it's also used not just for remote attacks but for local internal networks as well for lateral movement purposes and other security and surveillance purposes that may or may not be favorable to the individual. The government used in China, a case study here, a recent study by Citizens Lab studied uh, a project called China's Great Canon. And the, the image below shows the topology of that. It shows how the messages are routed back and forth in and out of the country vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, glo the global uh, internet. A full detail of this of this um, project is can be accessed using the URL below. Another really really good case study is another collaboration be between the GCHQ and the NSA against the employees in Belgium of a company called Belgacom and also the companies of OPEC. They were spied on using this method um, by the NSA. 
Um, the, the NSC has developed this, this thing called the, the quantum theory tool set. And the QI is actually a part, a subset of, of this entire tool set. To read a little bit more about this, this, this uh, tool set, the, they visit this URL. It's actually a PDF document, and they go into a little bit more detail than, than we can here um, about the, the, the framework. I'll show a list of, of the items in the, in the, in the framework in, in the next uh, slide. Tools in the quantum tool set. This uh, image here shows all the, uh, the tools that are currently in, in the most recent version of the, of the quantum tool set. And a closer look here gives more detail, including the dates and, and some specifics about these tools. Technical details. QI is a HTML redirection attack where malicious content is injected into a TCP session. The following are the basic steps that the QI takes to, to, to perform its attack or that can be used in a QI attack. First, the session is selected based on predetermined selectors. An example of a selector is a tracking cookie that is persistent and persistently um, identifies a user for a very long time. Second, HTTP traffic is observed and once a target is speaked, <clears throat> spoofed TCP packets are sent to that target. The spoofed packets are normally um, can be created based on information that's gathered about the victim in the TCP packets that was listened to and collected earlier. Um, this includes information such as listed in ABC, the source and destination, IP address and port, and the sequence and acknowledge numbers. Third, a successful attack is where spoof packet arrives before the real packet. And, and just to be a little bit more specific here, um, when you send your, your spoof packet just to, uh, to send it to the victim ahead of their own real packets, it's usually the man on the side attack. The man in the middle will completely intercept uh, the, the original packets from, from, from reaching the, the, the victim. NSA selectors. The image below here shows the different types of selectors mentioned in, in slide 10 that the NSA can use and normally does use in, in these types of uh, you know, quantum intercepts. Video demonstration. There are two different links here. The very first link shows a video demonstration of the NSA impersonating Facebook to hack into uh, co computers of users for surveillance purposes. And the second video here shows a demonstration of really how quantum inserts work. It's very interesting. Mitigating quantum inserts. The best way to detect quantum inserts is to look for anomalies in the TCP network traffic data. Specific indicators include one, a TCP, the TCP stream, duplicate TCP packet sequence numbers that have the same, that have different payloads. So two different TCP packets that have the same sequence number but different payloads is a red flag for a QI attack. Second, TTL anomalies. The time to load anomalies, if they're different or completely off with the rest of the packets that you see in the stream, definitely that is a red flag. For example, because they are injected at, at a different point, the, the, the time to load will be inconsistent with the, the rest of the packets. And thirdly, the TCP timestamp value. Uh, sometimes when the attackers are sending their spoof packets, they can easily um, get the wrong timestamp. And, and, and if timestamp is wrong, it's definitely a red flag that you are under attack or that your, um, your, your beneficiary is under attack. The image below here, the TCP screen, uh, stream, stream screen capture. So the image below here shows a Wireshark output um, showing the uh, two different uh, TCP packets with the same sequence numbers but different payloads. So this is just an example of what it, what it would look like if you were to use Wireshark to try to capture that traffic for your own investigation. Other ways to detect and mitigate against a QI. 
Use secure protocols such as HTTPS and HSTS. Use content delivery network, which will deliver packets much faster than spoofed packets in a QI attack. The QI can also be detected and protected against using IDSs such as SNORT, Pro, and Suricata. SNORT, um, Fox IT uh, created a patch for SNORT uh, for detecting QI, and the list below shows exactly how it works. And at the very bottom of this page, there is the link to the GitHub page for Fox IT where you can download and test and play around with this um, this this uh, patch for SNORT. And finally, on our final page here, there is a list of URLs that we used in the research for creating this presentation. Thank you very much.